In today's Webflow tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a responsive website. So I'm building this website for EQ Systems and you can see I've got this menu on the left hand side. And if I minimize this window, you can see the menu goes to the top. So it works responsibly as I minimize this. So you're going to learn how to create this using Webflow. It's actually really easy to do and I'm going to show you how to build this uh, side menu first and then we're going to make it responsive for mobile and for iPads as well. So make sure you watch until the end of the video to learn all of this from start to finish. So here we are inside of a blank canvas on Webflow. So the first thing I'll do is add a section in. So click on the add box right here and click and drag a section. And so we have a new section. So let's change the background color of this section to be a light gray background. And let's also make the minimum height of this uh, section to be 100 VH. So scroll up to size right here and go to minimum height. So that's M-I-N-H and just type in 100 VH. So 100 VH means 100% of the screen size. So we have this uh, new block section right here. And I'm going to add another section. So let's drag that in right here. And I want this to be below the section that we added in before. So let's just click and drag that to the bottom. And let's give this a darker gray this time. So you can give it any color that you want. I just want to be able to see the difference between uh, each section. So let's select that section and give it a height just like before of 100 VH. So that's the minimum height again. So now we have these two sections. So next let's add in that menu. So there's two blocks that we need to add in. First is the back of the uh, menu which is like a block that holds the menu together so you'll know what I mean soon so uh, click on the add box again and click and drag a div block inside the first section right here and so we have this new block right here at the top so I want this to be on the side right here so to do that go to, uh, select the section element right here and go to the display layout so make sure you have the section selected not the div block so and then go up to the layout and we're going to click on this icon right here which is like two vertical lines going down so that's called a flex box so as soon as you click on that the menu just goes on to the left right here so now we can click the div block and now we can adjust the size of uh, size of it and we can also change the colors and all of that so this is going to be the back block of the menu so the menu will be inside of this block right here so let's make the the width of this uh, this block to be 100 px so there's the width and i'll also change the color of it so we can actually see it so maybe to like a whoops let me just select the box first and let's go back to the background colors right here and let's give it like a slightly yeah just about there so we can actually see it right here so next thing is i'm going to do the same thing so you can just copy this and go to the next section and just paste it inside so you won't be able to see it right away because we actually haven't given it the, the layout, uh, layout um, settings that we gave to this section. So again, you have to click on the second section, go up to the layout and click on Flexbox right here. And then you should be able to see it right here. So let's preview this. So, so far we've got this on the side right here. And we've got these two, all of these gray blocks. So now all we need to do is just place the red menu, which is this right here on the side. So to add in the red menu, we're going to go to the add button and choose another div block. And I'm just going to drag this into the first section right here. So there's the new div block. And let's just rename this to uh, main, main menu block. So main menu. I'll just name it main menu. And we're going to change the size of this to 100 px, 100 pixels. And I'm also going to give it a bright uh, red color. So go to the background section and just give it a bright red color. So it looks good. And as I scroll down, you can see it, it's not really fixed. So I want this to be fixed to, to the uh, screen. So it should be like this. So as you scroll down, it stays on the side right here. So choose the main menu. And I'm going to go down to uh, position. So position is just under the size section right here. And uh, click on static and change it to fixed. And you'll notice it just disappears. So what happens is when you choose the position of fixed, 
it becomes its own thing. So before it was taking the size of the section and it became the size of the section that we put it inside of, which is this right here. But when you give it a position of fixed, it just becomes its own thing. So as you scroll down, it stays on top of the screen. So you have to give it its own width, its own height, its own uh, position and all of that. So let's go back to Webflow here and choose the main menu. And let's give it its own size, which is 100 VH. That is 100% of the screen size. And, and we also have a, a width of 100 pixels that we gave it before. So now if I scroll down, you can see it sticks with the screen. So that's what Fix does. It just takes away all of the uh, sizes that we gave uh, from the section that we had before, which is the parent element. And then it uh, just fixes it, um, fixes the element on the screen. So if you're going to fix something on the screen, you have to give it its own size, its own width, and or, uh, its own um, uh, properties. So now we have this. So let's just preview this. So that looks pretty good so far. But let's say if I click it, click on a tablet view right here, it still stays on the side right here. So I want this to be on the top. And also, if I click on mobile landscape, it stays on the side. And also on mobile, it still stays, stays on the side right here. So this would be really hard to navigate on mobile. So how do you move this to the top? So on Webflow, there's four different options uh, to view your project. There's desktop, tablet, uh, mobile landscape, and mobile portrait. So you can add in more uh, uh, viewing options by clicking on the on these three dots right here. And you can add in some more uh, screen sizes. So you can add in uh, 14 by 40 pixels and also 19 by 20 pixels screen size. So you can see what it will look like on all of these different screen sizes. And you'll notice on the desktop version right here in the middle, there's this little star. So that's called a breaking point. So what a breaking point is, let's say I change something here. If I change the size of this width of this block, it will be changed on everything. So it will be changed from here to mobile uh, mobile and it'll also be changed from here to uh, um, the bigger screen sizes but let's just say I go to a, a tablet right here and I click on the main menu block and I'm going to change the color of this to a blue color and if I go to the mobile landscape it changes to blue and if I go to the main menu it changes to blue but let's just say I go back to the desktop view it stays red and also on all the other desktop screen sizes, it stays red. So anything that I change here will be changed on the right hand side here as well. And anything that I change from here will be changed on this side. So all the desktop view has have their own properties and all the uh, tablet views and the mobile views have their own properties as well. So uh, let's go back to the uh, tablet view right here. And I'm going to click on the main menu block and I'm going to uh, click on display none. So go to the layout section and there's this little eye icon and click on display none. So it just makes it disappear. So there's no main menu block right now, but it still stays stays in the um, uh, desktop view. So uh, let's take this back menu block and we're going to put this on the top. So to do this, we need to click on the section right here. And before we had this uh, flex um, option right here to put it on the side. So we need to click back right here on the um, uh, the normal block elements, which puts it at the top. So now the back menu block just disappears. So to bring it back, you need to give it um, a size right here for the back menu block. So choose the back menu block and give it a width. So width is 100%. So that is 100% of the screen. And let's also give it a minimum height of 100 px. So now you can see the top menu. And I actually want the, the top menu on tablet to be a little bit smaller. So let's just make it 75 px. So it's a little bit smaller here. So now let's add in another div block. And this should be just on top right here. And let's also give it... Uh, um, uh, a width of 100% and let's also give it a minimum height of 75 75 pixels cool and I'm also going to take the same red color that we had here before so let's just go back to the desktop and let's just copy this red color code and let's go back right here choose the new um, 
mobile menu block so let me just rename this quickly to mobile menu and let's give it a background color let's just paste in the color that we just copied cool so that looks good so let's choose the main menu block again and just like before we're going to give it a position of fixed so let's go back and let's click on fixed so now as i scroll down it stays at the top so that looks good and it also works on mobile landscape and on mobile desktop as well but if i go back to the desktop you can see it's all messy now so what happened here is we added in a new element called mobile menu and it's displayed on the desktop so we don't want the mobile menu to be displayed on the desktop so choose the mobile menu and click on hide and make sure you're on the uh, breaking point which is the desktop with the star icon right here click on that and go to the layout section and click on this little eye icon right here so that is the display none so that just makes the mobile menu disappear so you can see it's gone on all the desktop uh, on all the different uh, desks uh, screen sizes that we have on desktop but if we go to the mobile um, devices the like the tablets and all the mobile devices you can see it's also got a display of none so you have to bring it back on the mobile device so go to the tablet and click back on the uh, uh, on this little icon right here so now it should be working fully now so I'm going to publish this and let's preview this on uh, on a new tablet so let's just wait for this to save and let's preview this on desktop first so this is what it looks like and if I minimize it to a smaller screen size, it still stays on the side. And as I minimize it to a tablet size, it goes to the top. And if I scroll all the way down, you can see it stays at the top. And same with the desktop view. So that's how you make a side menu um, uh, responsive on desktop and on mobile as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do because I come out with videos like this daily. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out this channel and I'll see you in the next video.